In this video, I'm going to be covering how to set up an HDRI image in the Octane version of Blender. And so what I have is a basic scene. Uh, I'm assuming you already have the the Prime server set up, the Octane server set up, and you are in the correct version of Blender, uh, the Octane version, anyway. And you want to go to your uh, render settings, make sure you're set to Octane. And if you get a little bit of ahead of yourself and you hit render, you're going to get nothing, okay? And a huge part of that is because uh, Octane requires that you have a camera in the scene uh, to actually know where it's rendering from. So I added a camera. I'm going to snap the camera to the view that I'm looking through right now, and I'm going to hit alt Control 0 and snap to this view. Uh, I'm going to turn on camera to view so I can move that around and if we render we'll get this kind of blown out um, render that's Octane's basic sky daylight environment so to use an HDR image you want to pick texture environment you want to go to texture and pick image and then you'll want to navigate to a place where you've got some and this is uh, Blender Cloud these are, I'm going to grab the farmer path and open it up and you'll notice that yep it showed up and I can look around and it's really dark and so what you'll run into initially is there's a bunch of gamma settings that have to be corrected so I'm going to do uh, one thing really quick to increase or improve the on-screen render performance and that's go to the output panel and turn on render region so I'm only rendering what I need to see and that makes it a little faster <clears throat> and then we'll go back to the environment panel and uh, well I just want to I want to illustrate something first and that is if you try to render this it's even darker than it looks in the viewport and again that's there's some gamma settings that need to be corrected so if we correct the gamma settings on the EXR that looks better that looks much better it's getting closer to what you would expect um, if I render however it's dark and if I'm in rendered mode here and I jump out it looks okay and if I look through the camera it looks okay but again if I render it's dark so how to fix that and I'm going to jump to the camera the camera has some gamma settings on it as well and these settings will generally fix most HDRs not all of them because of some some of them are authored a little bit differently and you can run into uh, some tweaks that you have to do so if I turn on the Octane Camera Imager, um, in, that is the render mode, and I jump out of the camera view, I am back to a bright view, it's dark in the camera, and if we output, it is also dark. So how to fix this? What you need to do is go in and turn set the gamma to 2.2, on the camera and that makes it so that in the camera view it's good in the uh, rendered view viewport render it looks good and the render out of the camera looks what you would expect now that's a that image is a little dull a little little dim and where you want to do your adjusting for brightness on an HDR there's uh, go to the world panel and you'll see there's a power and there's a gamma here and then there's power down here you don't really want to mess with these leave them alone but you can turn the power up out uh, on the uh, this setting down here under the projection so okay so that's pretty much the basics of how to set up an HDR but let's say your scene is set up and you 
want to rotate the scene um, or you want to change the lighting or whatever and while I'm thinking about it a, a way the way to shut off the background in here is to go to the render panel or the render settings and then turn on alpha channel and that'll knock out the back um, but let's say I want to rotate this image so that I can obviously use a little bit different lighting. Uh, I'm going to go to the shader mode or the shader editor. I'm going to go to world. I'm going to unwind this rat's nest here. Don't need that background. That's a, a vestigial thing from cycles. Okay, so one way to do it is come in here and go to Octane Projection and grab uh, Standby Octane Transform. Go to Full Transform. And if you plug this in to the Transform and use the Translate on X, I believe, yeah, it, uh, it'll it spin this around and it's really, really a little hard to control. You can hold down Shift and have it uh, spin it and what you're basically doing and I'm, at least I'm, I'm thinking that under the hood you're sliding this along the UVs. Another way to do it is to have uh, an octane projection, a spherical projection which is what these images use and plug it into the projection and then replug the transform into the sphere transformation. Um, I'm going to set that to zero and then it's the X so this is this the order here is y, x, z, and for some reason it's the x axis that will rotate your image. And other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. That's a very quick and dirty tutorial on how to set up the lighting in Octane. It took me a while uh, to figure out what <laughs> what things to check because honestly the the documentation didn't really have much of anything on this. So I hope that's helpful for those of you going through the same pain.